What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony McLemore, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I increased my credit score by about 60 to 75 points, and I didn't have to pay anybody any money to do it. So yes, today's video is about credit scores and how you can improve those very easily without having to pay some scam guru a whole bunch of money in order to increase your credit score. Now, there are a lot of reasons why you would wanna increase your credit score. You can qualify for higher credit limits, and overall, you just seem like a more responsible person. So first and foremost, one of the easiest and one of the freest ways that you can improve your credit score is simply by calling your provider and asking for a higher credit limit. Now, this is such a simple trick that most people don't take advantage of that can improve your credit score dramatically in a short period of time. And the reason why I'm putting this as the first point in this video is because I actually did it for myself recently. Now, I'm a person that doesn't plan on getting any new loans anytime in the near future. However, I was watching a Grant Cardone or a Robert Kiyosaki episode talking about how to build wealth through leverage or anything like that. And they talked about getting a higher credit score simply by calling your provider. So it Immediately after watching this episode, I called every single one of my credit card providers and asked for a higher credit limit. And overall, I think I got about a $20,000 credit limit just from calling those providers. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. I'm actually gonna show you on my Credit Karma site exactly how much that increase was. So we can see as I log into my Credit Karma that my Equifax credit score is at 775 and my TransUnion score is at 773. Now, before I get into comments, I know Credit Karma isn't the exact most accurate form of your credit measurement. However, big improvements of 50 plus points seem to be fairly accurate when your credit score may be on that baseline level. So as we click into my Equifax score, we can see that in the last month, my credit score went from 719 all the way up to 775. And before we get into exactly how much my credit score increased from calling these companies, let's talk briefly about how your credit score is calculated in the first place. So basically your credit score is calculated using three main metrics. There are six total metrics, but three main ones really have a high impact of your credit score. The first metric is your payment history. This is basically the amount of on-time payments that you have over an extended period of time. And there's not much that you can do to improve in this category other than to continue making consistent payments on a monthly basis. So if you really wanted to improve in this category, the only thing you could really do is just to sit and wait for your credit score to slowly and gradually improve. However, the second metric that goes in calculating your credit score is your credit history. And this is basically the amount of time that you had your credit cards open. And the same with your payment history, there's not much that you can do to improve in this category on a short term basis. It really takes a long time for you to build a long credit history and having a longer credit history basically shows lender that you're a little bit more reliable and that you're a little bit more disciplined because you have that history of showing that you've been good with your finances. However, the third major category that goes into calculating your credit score is the amount of available credit that you have versus the amount of available credit that you have used. And this specific category is something that you can improve today simply by calling your credit providers. So as we look back into my phone, we can see that my payment history is at 100%, meaning that I never missed a payment. My credit age is at three years, which is not as long as I would like it to be, but I can't do anything about that. And my credit card use is at 0%. And that basically means that I paid my credit card back on a monthly basis. So, so far my credit card usage is at $162 of about a $34,000 credit limit. However, exactly, I wanna see how much my credit limit increased in the past month. And in order to see this, I would just click see what's changed and I should get a comprehensive overview of exactly how much each card increased. So as far as credit limit increase, I do have an Amazon store card. And when I called them, I was able to get a $2,300 credit limit increase, which increased it from about $2,600 to a little bit over $5,500. I didn't call my Discover Bank credit card company and got an increase from $1,600 to about $6,600 or a flat $5,000 increase. After that, I called my USA savings credit card and got a $3,000 increase. I called my Apple credit card and got a $1,000 increase. And then obviously I paid down a lot of the balances that I do on a monthly basis. So I know you may be wondering why I have all these credit cards open and why I have such a high balance if you're just not gonna use it anyway. And the main reason for that is that simply by having credit cards and having a high balance and having a higher credit score, you get lower rates on loans. So that when I do wanna apply for another mortgage loan or when I do wanna apply for a car loan, in the future, if I ever do that, I would have a better chance of getting the best rate possible because I have this higher credit score. And if I was just to use debit cards or cash, while yes, I still will be using the same amount of money because I pay the card off each month, I wouldn't be able to take advantage of those lower interest rates when I do want to go apply for those loans. And the second free method that most people aren't even aware that they can do to improve their credit scores is actually by writing a letter to their credit card companies in order to remove hard inquiries on cards or loans that they didn't get approved for in the first place. So usually in order to get a loan or a new credit card, the company that that's issuing the loan will have to run your credit. In order to run your credit, they usually have to do a hard inquiry, which is basically like a record that you are applying for a new credit card. And based on the results from that hard inquiry, that company can then decide whether they will open the account for you or whether they won't open the account for you because your credit score is too low for whatever reason. And most people think that when that inquiry is done, that it has to stay on your report for the mandatory two years. However, what you can do is actually write a letter to the company that you didn't open that account for, but that actually ran the hard inquiry on your credit report and ask them nicely to 
remove the inquiry from your credit report so that you can improve your credit score. Now, the company doesn't have to accept this request. The company doesn't even have to acknowledge this request, but it does not hurt to ask. I have a bunch of hard inquiries on my credit report that I may go about doing this method to remove. And if I do, I can expect my credit score to increase by another 10 or 15 points. But moving on to the third free way that you can improve your credit score. And this one is simply by doing nothing and just waiting for it to increase. As I said earlier, your credit score will gradually increase simply by making consistent on-time payments on a monthly basis. So as long as you're paying your credit card on time every month, and as long as you're not opening up any new credit cards or getting any new hard increase, your credit history will get longer and your payment history will improve. And because these two categories are the most stable, they will continue to hold up your credit score if something does happen in the future. If you forget to pay down your entire balance one month by having a longer credit history and by having a lot of on-time payments, your credit scores shouldn't drop that dramatically in the short term. And at the same time, by doing nothing, this also means not applying for any new credit cards. You want to avoid the amount of hard increase that you have in your credit report. Although they do have a low impact on your credit score, they still do have an impact. So if you're not seriously trying to get a new credit card, or if you're not seriously trying to get a new loan, then you should probably opt to avoid these hard increase so that you can improve your credit score over time. If you do continue to open new accounts, then your length of credit history won't increase at all because those new accounts will continue dragging that history down. Now, everything that I talked about up to this point were things that you can do for completely free. All it took up to this point was a little bit of effort in order to get your credit score increased. However, I must include that there is a way that you can improve your credit score by actually paying more money. And this way involves actually paying down your credit balance. So although this isn't a sexy solution and maybe not the most practical solution for most people, one of, if not the most effective way to increase your credit score is to lower the amount that you have owed in credit cards. If you have $1,000 owed on a $1,500 credit limit, then your credit score won't increase as much from adding a higher credit balance as much as it actually would from actually paying down those $1,000. So there's a lot of ways that you can go about paying down your credit card balance. But one of my favorite ways that I mentioned in some of my other videos is the debt snowball method. And this sort of method was coined by Dave Ramsey. And what it means is that you start off with the lowest monthly payment credit card first, whether it's $25, $35, $45, and you attack that debt balance with all of the extra money that you have while paying the minimum on the other balances. And once you get the smallest debt paid off first, you then use the money that you was paying towards that debt in order to pay the second smallest debt first. And you continue on this debt snowball until all of your debts are paid off. And I remember way back in the day when I had a 625 credit score, when I actually went about paying these credit cards off, and my credit score immediately went up from 625 all the way up to about 725, simply from lowering the balances that I owed to these credit bureaus. And as I said, this may not be the simplest or the fastest method in order to increase your credit score, but it's almost definitely the most effective in terms of increasing your credit score and showing these credit bureaus that you are a responsible lender. And lastly, the last but although not free way to improve your credit score is by setting up payments on collection items. Now, most of the time, people think that when you have a bill that goes to collections and you start to get these debt collectors writing letters to you or calling your phone, that you have to pay that bill in full. However, what actually happens when you have a bill that goes to collections, the original bill issuer sells that bill to a collection agency for pennies on the dollar. And most of the time, the collection agency is happy to get anything above what they pay for it in order to make a profit on that bill. The credit issuer has already written that bill off as a loss. That's why they sold it to collections. And if you negotiate with the collection agency, most of the time you're able to pay much less than the bill's face value in order to remove that collection item from your credit report. Now, the best thing that you can do is not allow a bill to go to collections in the first place, but life happens. And in most cases, some people just simply can't avoid it. So if you do have a bill that's in collections, you should absolutely have negotiation to have this bill paid, or you can even negotiate to make payments on the collection item for as little as five to $10 a month. And if you negotiate to make the payment plan, not only will it still be taken off your credit report, but you also won't have to come out of pocket a lot of money for a very unexpected bill and you can be improving your credit score at the same time. But with all that being said, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you found any kind of value in this video, don't forget to smash that like button for your boy. It really does help the channel out. Also, don't forget to look down into the description below where if you use the link to sign up to the public app, you will get a free fractional share of a stock just for signing up. And at that point, it is free money just for you opening up an account. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a brand new shorts channel linked in the description below that I repurposed from a TikTok challenge a while ago. So if you want to see some daily shorts, then go subscribe over there as well. However, I really hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one, guys.